Hi everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Mercury is an element that often defies our common sense. After all, it's a metal, but it's also a liquid, and a liquid that's very dense and has a lot of kind of exaggerated properties about it. Metals that we consider dense, like steel and lead, will float on it like a cork. And despite being a liquid, it doesn't really wet anything. A sponge that would normally soak up any other liquid just comes out completely dry. A while back we posted a video where we poured mercury on top of a bed of salt inside of a tall glass. Now we know that salt is much less dense than mercury and it should have all floated to the surface of the glass immediately, but it didn't do that. Many viewers thought that the salt was being compacted by the heavy mercury. Some people thought because of the shape of the salt, the salt was being locked together. And there were a lot of comparisons about if you took a powdered drink mix, put it in the bottom of the glass, and then poured water on top of it. So today we're going to take a second look at salt versus mercury. Sometimes when you're observing an experiment, it's kind of like watching a magician. If you only focus on one hand, you're not watching the other hands. And there's a lot of things going on with the mercury and the salt. Since so many people felt that the shape of the glass and the weight of the mercury was compacting the salt, let's just put a thin layer of salt down this time. And instead of pouring the mercury on top of the salt, we'll, we'll just pour a little bit off to the side. And this will make it a little easier to observe. Now many, many viewers said I should have put the salt on top of the mercury because the results would have been different. And of course, because the salt is a lot less dense than the mercury, and because of that crazy rounded meniscus of the mercury, a lot of the salt just kind of falls off to the side. It's kind of like balancing a ball on top of another ball. But as you can see, the salt never goes underneath the mercury. Next, we'll carefully lift the corner of this to cause the mercury to start flowing around. You'll see where the salt is thicker, the mercury kind of pushes it out of the way like a snowplow. But you also see the mercury kind of rolling over the top of the salt and leaving a very thin layer behind. Because the surface tension of mercury is so high, you can almost think of it like a skin, like a water balloon rolling over objects. So there's no interlocking of the salt grains. There's no compaction going on here. So the reason why the mercury is able to float on the surface of the salt is because of its high density, its high surface tension, causing it to act like a blanket, and of course the fact that it doesn't even wet the salt. When you're doing an experiment, make sure you understand all the different properties and if possible, try the experiment in a different way. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.